Hey guys, my name is Kareem and welcome to Rebowling Genius Headquarters. Today we're showing you how we rebowl the MacBook Pro. Spoiler alert, there's not going to be any foil usage. We're not going to put it in the oven or anything like that. So without further ado, let's go ahead and see our process of rebowling the MacBook Pro and bringing it back to life. So the first thing we do when we get any laptop is that we try it out and we see what's wrong with it even if the customer tells us what's wrong with it we always make sure to try it out as you guys see here's the pink lines which usually a lot of people get in these type of macbooks um so yeah these are just vertical pink lines as you guys can see now we're gonna actually turn it off and we're gonna start to disassemble the macbook pro First thing we're going to do after taking off the back cover is actually disconnecting the battery and a lot of people forget to do that so make sure you disconnect the battery the first thing because you can actually damage a lot of things on the motherboard itself if you do not disconnect the battery and after we disconnect the battery we are removing all the screws that are actually holding the motherboard down. After removing all the screws, we're actually going to take the fans off too. And as you guys can see, there's a lot of dust inside the fans, underneath the fans, and on top of the fans on the cover itself. Now we're going to start disconnecting any ribbons or any cables that are connected to the motherboard so we can take the motherboard safely out of the MacBook body. Now we're going to go ahead and take the motherboard out. As you guys see and as expected the motherboard is very very dusty and after taking the motherboard out we're actually going to go ahead and take the speakers off the motherboard. Now we're going to go ahead and take the rams out of the motherboard. Now we're going to remove the screws that are holding down the heatsink to the motherboard and after that we're going to take the heatsink off the motherboard and as you guys see the amount of dust on the graphics chip is a lot more than the amount of dust on the CPU and this is why there isn't any CPU issues but there's a lot of GPU related issues. Now first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and vacuum the motherboard. Make sure to vacuum where the GPU is at and the CPU chip is at. And then we're going to vacuum the MacBook Pro itself. Now we're going to go ahead and clean the thermal compound of the GPU and the CPU chip and make sure they're very clean before we start the rebowling process. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to take the motherboard and we're going to put it on our specialized machine. And what will that machine do is that it will take the graphics chip off the motherboard without any human interaction or whatsoever. We don't use any heat guns. We don't put it in the oven. We don't do anything other than just put it on this machine to take the graphics chip off the motherboard. Now we're going to go ahead and put that little wire underneath the GPU chip which pretty much acts as a thermometer and lets us monitor the temperature underneath the GPU chip. Now we're going to use that yellow tape to actually hold that wire in place because sometimes when you take the GPU chip off the motherboard the same cable can actually move around and move any little small component on the motherboard and we definitely don't want that to happen so we use that specialized tape to hold it down in place. So now what's left to do is pretty much just setting up the machine and as you guys see we will also have cameras that gives us a live view of what exactly is going on underneath the chip real time so we can monitor everything and make sure everything goes smoothly and perfectly. And now all we have to do is just press the play button and watch the machine do all the magic. We're not done yet but there's a little bit of epoxy surrounding the GPU that Apple puts. So first of all we have to take that epoxy off and yes we do use a razor blade because it's the best tool to get it out of this place and we are very careful when we do it and we never damaged anything using the razor blade like that. And after this we're gonna put the machine back to work so we can get that GPU chip off the motherboard. Now the machine is actually done and as you guys see we are about to pull out the GPU chip off the motherboard and it came out very easily and very very cleanly. And then we're going to clean the epoxy completely and make sure it's completely removed. 
and then we're gonna remove that temperature wire and the yellow tape then we're actually gonna take the motherboard and we have to really be careful at this moment because the motherboard is actually really hot and we're gonna move it to the rebowling station so now we start prepping the motherboard for the rebowling process and then the first thing we do after is we actually fix all the soldering pads and then we remove all the old soldering now after removing all the soldering it's time to actually clean the motherboard and make it look as good as new so we can continue with the rest of the process for the rebowling. So now what we're pretty much doing is that we are using a sharpie to create new aligning points. I just wanted to quickly mention that. And now we're pretty much done with the motherboard so what we're gonna do is that we're gonna take it and go put it back on the machine. And this time we're gonna take the GPU chip itself and we're gonna go back to the rebowling station and repeat the same exact process that we did with the motherboard. Just like the motherboard, we're gonna start by fixing all the soldering pads. Then when we're done with that, we're gonna remove all the old soldering. And then now we're actually going to go ahead and clean it and make sure it's very clean, ready for the next step, which is the rebowling itself. Now we're going to go ahead and start the final prepping for the GPU chip to get rebolt. And as you guys see, we're using lit-free solder balls for this repair. As you guys can see, now we are done with the rebowling and the GPU chip looks brand new again. Now it's time to reattach it back to the motherboard and test the MacBook out. Now pretty much what we have to do is just turn on the machine. All we have to do now is just watch on the monitor to see how the GPU chip will get reattached to the motherboard by itself. And now we're pretty much done. We're gonna take the motherboard off the machine and as you guys see, the motherboard looks brand new and it doesn't look like anyone did anything to it. And everything is literally factory quality as you can see. Now what we're gonna do is that we're gonna actually take the motherboard and go back to the disassembling station so we can put back the computer together and try it and see if the fix worked and fix the issue or it didn't. So now after assembling the MacBook back together, we are about to turn it on and we're about to try it and see if it's gonna work and turn on without the pink lines or not. And as you guys see, 
gray screen at the beginning. And the MacBook worked again and it displayed hard drives as you can see. There's no vertical pink lines or whatsoever. There's no pixelation. The MacBook is completely fixed. And now it's actually loading the operating system. And as you guys see, the brightness just increased and the MacBook loaded the operating system and it works perfectly again, as you guys can see. We're actually not gonna stop there. We're gonna run the Heaven benchmark on it and actually see if it will handle and keep working or not. And you guys are also gonna see real time that it worked and it passed the benchmark so that any problems or anything like that. I didn't want you guys to watch that benchmarking because it takes forever so I had to really speed it up but here's the results. As you guys saw we are done fixing the MacBook and that's pretty much it for this video. Um, if you guys enjoyed the fix make sure to let us know down in the comments what do you guys think about this, what do you think about the fixing and also if you guys enjoyed this video you want to see more of our fixes. Make sure to check the rest of the videos right here. We have a PS4 rebowling. We also have the PS3 rebowling. So if you got time to watch more videos, make sure you do because they're really nice. And that's pretty much it.